So if you've been following my channel for a while now, you will know that I'm all about being straightforward when it comes to dating and relationships. I'm not all about games. I don't encourage games. When it comes to dating and i know people naturally want to play games and the games women play i'm just not very comfortable with it a lot of ladies have called me pick me girl that's fine it's okay i'm doing this to help you guys all right so let me tell you some mixed signals that women will give to you when you're trying to date them and i am guilty of this because i have done this a couple of times and that's why i know that almost every girl is doing it now when you see these mixed signals you need to call this girl out and let her know that you're not you're not in for the games and if she's really not interested in you she should just let you know so don't take this uh mixed signals as oh i need to keep pushing push a little harder i know in some cases if you push a little harder you end up still getting the girl but like i, I generally don't think you should actually waste your time and take this type of games and mixed signals from women because mostly when women give you this kind of mixed signals it is because they are not interested in you. So let me tell you some of these missed signals that you should watch out for that tells that a girl doesn't really like you that much. So hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl IJ. You already know how we do it here. We talk about all things love, sex and relationship. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You already know I had you so much. So thanks. Let's just jump straight into today's video now this one is one of the biggest ones and i have said it before on my channel if a girl is too busy to make plans to meet you she's really not that interested in you if she's always hiding behind the keyboard just chatting and texting with you and just you know enjoying the conversation online but when it's time to make proper plans to meet up she's always cancelling she's always ghosting she's always too busy to make a plan and actually show up it just shows that she's really not interested in you see when a woman likes you, she always wants to be around you. She wants to be in your presence. But if this girl is always chatting, chaka, 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 very fast in chatting, but she's never making plans. So you make this plan, she can't. So now I have a complete video on ghosting, all right? I will put that video at the end of this one so that you can click it and go check it out to understand, you know, the ghosting techniques that women do. So if a girl is generally just ghosting you and not making plans, like even if you tell her, okay, where do you want us to go? pick a place she's always so busy oh my work is too stressful i don't have time to plan i don't have time for this like if you love someone you make plans all right you make our time to be with them you make our time to you know spend with them because if you're not spending time with them you're spending time elsewhere yes so if you love people if you actually do care about people you will make out time to make plans and actually follow it through so if she's just too busy to make plans that's one big mixed signal and i don't think you should be wasting your time there go out on other dates and meet other people because this girl is just going to waste your time secondly you know these girls that will not really open up to you they don't open up to you but they expect you to open up to them they don't tell you exactly how they feel they don't talk about themselves very well they don't tell you their vulnerabilities they don't tell you their you know their, their truths and all of that but they try to poke you they try to make you to try to force you to open up they want you to tell them all oh, your deepest darkest secret your exes how many ladies you've been with how much do you earn what do you do how do you spend your day and all of those you know things about you but when you begin to ask them about them they are always too secretive they don't want to tell you much like they want to get information from you but they don't want to give out information they don't want to be open about themselves but they expect you to be open about yourself like does she want to use it against you? Now, I have a video where I talk about how women manipulate men. They try to get your deepest, darkest secret. They, they try to get you to open up so that they can have the weapons to use and fashion against you. <laughs> all right. So you need to be very careful. If she's all about you just spilling facts, but she's, you know, keeping all of her own together and not sharing with you. It's a mixed signal that she's not really, really that interested in you because if a woman is interested in you, she's easily, you know, opened up to you. She's easily... You know, communication is very easy. She tells you things that you ask her questions about. She's open about it. She's kind of vulnerable around you because she wants you to see her as who she really is, apart from people who live fake life, all right? And just, I don't know. But like, if she's really a genuine and a very good woman, she will be very comfortable around you and open up. And it's not even really about like nastiest things, but like simple, thing, simple things and simple information about herself. She's going to give it to you easily without making it a big deal or like you're trying to pry and all of those secrecy. So if she's not ready to open up to you, but she wants you to open up to her, it's a mixed signal that she might not really be interested. She's just, you know, carrying on on your conversations and not giving you much, but trying to get as much information from you as possible. Now, the third mixed signal I'm going to talk about is 
they are never engaging with you privately on social media but they are always online so you know and i am very much guilty <laughs> with this one and like i said if the girl is really not interested in you this is how she's gonna behave so yeah if your guy is bugging me and i actually don't care i could actually be on social media i could actually be posting stories on my instagram i could actually be you know on my whatsapp showing online chatting with other people but i will completely ignore you because i'm not really that into you so i mean this is a very clear signal that a girl doesn't actually care about you you are online you're sending her messages but she's updating her whatsapp status she's updating her stories on instagram she's posting stuff she, you're seeing clearly that she's online but she's not responding to your message like what other signal do you need to see to know that this girl does not really care about you i mean even if she's responding to a work inquiry it doesn't take her anything to say oh hey i'm going to get back to you really soon or i'm busy right now i'll talk to you later or just engage with you because how many minutes is it going to take her to send you a simple vn like a voice note or to actually type so if you're online and this girl is online but she's clearly not responding to you but she's posting she's engaging on social media she's posting videos posting pictures you know you're seeing that she's obviously online and she's busy online but she's not responding to you she's completely ignoring your existence on that social media platform bro she doesn't really care about you that's it like there's no other way to explain it she's busy she's claiming busy on you but she's engaging with other people she doesn't really fancy you that much it's a missed signal that you should not miss now this one can be a bit confusing and some girls that's why i said i'm not i don't like games all right because this one is one big games women play now if you know you guys are together or you you, you guys are you've made your intention known that you like her but she's still flirting with other people especially in your presence now some girls will use this as as bait to see how you're going to react to it some girls will use it to see if you're going to get jealous and if you're going to want to fight for them and all of that like i don't know i don't know maybe i don't know actually at this age of, i don't know if i would still want to do something like this because for me it's just games and i don't like it but i think younger women or younger me might have done that or would have done that i don't really remember because i feel like it's a young generation it's a young uh a young a, a young girl's kind of behavior where they want to flirt with other people and see if you're going to get jealous they try to make you jealous all right so if she's giving you this kind of mixed signals be very careful it could be that she doesn't really like you or it could actually be that she likes you and she's just trying to get a reaction from you but a woman who actually likes you and who is mature do not want to play with your feelings like that all right because it's really just annoying to see someone you like you know sitting on somebody else's lap or playing with their hair and touching them and pecking them all of those flirtatious behavior just to get you jealous or angry like if she's mature she shouldn't be doing that all right she shouldn't be doing that so sometimes she's also doing it to tell you shush i don't really like you please you're bugging me so i'm trying to use somebody else to push you away all right so if she's giving you that kind of signal be careful it could be that she doesn't really like you or it could be that she's playing games and i don't like games so either ways i don't like it if she's going to be flirting with other people just to piss you off then there's going to be too much drama in that relationship just stay away from such people now this one is actually very clear if your girlfriend or if the girl is not ready to have that conversation of what are we really like you know that serious conversation where you are trying to define this relationship you're trying to have that conversation with her to let her know what exactly are we doing so let us say you've been seeing these mixed signals you've seen her flare with people around you you've seen her ignore you online you know you've seen all of these mixed signals i've been talking about so you're trying to have you know the defining conversation to say let's define what we have so that i know if i'm wasting my time with you or not so you're trying to have that discussion like what are we really doing who are we exactly is this a thing or are we just wasting our time and she's you know run, running away from the question she's shying away from the question she doesn't want to have that conversation like what do you mean what are we i mean what what do you think we are <laughs> brother if she gives you this kind of flimsy reply then just know that okay this is not what it is because usually it's even a girl that will want you want to have that kind of discussion with you to know exactly where she stands in your life but if you're the one who is seriously wanting to have this discussion and she's running away from it it is obvious she's she's just you know stringing you along and she doesn't really really care all right because i know in my experience it is always the ladies that want to define the relationship so if you're the one trying to define this relationship and she's acting uninterested then bro you're wasting your time and i don't think you should all right you shouldn't be wasting your time your time is money so don't waste your time if she's not wanting to define the relationship now lastly and i know this one might have a little you know cut and join 
if she doesn't like to show affection outside now why i said someone have a little cut and join is you know there are some people that are just naturally shy outdoor and they don't like you to kiss them in public they don't like you to hold them in public you get or there are some countries that you cannot actually show outdoor affection and you cannot kiss in public i don't know dubai used to be like that but i think now i've seen people a few people kiss in the metro i've seen people kiss in public in the beach you know all of that so i don't think it's that strict i mean if, it, if you guys are a couple i don't think is that strict anymore i think the, it's not that strict anymore so but like yeah there are some countries that they don't allow all those outdoor affections and all of that so but if you know that she's not a shy person she's actually comfortable you know with showing affection but for some reason when you guys are outdoors especially in the in the midst of some particular kind of person she's like not comfortable with it so maybe some other kind of guys you guys are in the public with rich boys bigger boys you know shinier boys and she's like trying to avoid you because she doesn't want people to know that she's with you but when you guys are with like your level and you're just your close friends she's okay because like these close people know that you guys are dating or you, know, you guys are together but when you guys are in public public and she's trying to keep her her options open in case somebody else likes her so she kind of avoids you because she doesn't want people to think you guys are together because she's trying to let them know hey i'm open to discussion if you want to say hi to me like bro don't ever get disrespected that way all right don't ever get disrespected that way if she's going to push you away because she's trying to you know make people think that you are nobody then let her when nobody's there she's trying to be all lovey 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 we're not doing that here okay we don't endorse that kind of behavior on my page i don't approve it so if this girl is going to behave that way no call her off all right so that's the end of the video for today i hope you found it educative as well as entertaining guys make sure you look out for this mixed signals they are always there they are always there you just need to pay attention now don't forget to like this video so other people can see it don't forget also to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and make sure you click on that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos i will see you next time keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.